Alright folks, it's time for another birthday special on my YouTube channel here. And this time we're going to be doing a birthday special for Game Lover 1949. I.e. David Downs. Starting with Jeopardy for the Nintendo 64 as the first segment. Although I'm playing under my name, whatever I win is going to go to David. And now, here is our host, Alan. I don't know if he has. This version Welcome of Jeopardy or game even has an N64 for that matter, but even if it doesn't, that's okay. So let's go to work in the first round. In any event, uh, let's go to work here in the first round of Jeopardy. A reminder to our whole audience that there will only be one big double in this first round. Our categories are Shakespeare characters, potpourri, science. Oh no! On quotation marks, do we know what that means? Famous Americans, literary characters. Make a selection. And of course, for those who don't know, the O in quotation marks in O oh no means that each correct response will begin with the letter O. Alright, let's start with Potpourri for 100. Perot's Mary Lloyd is known as this in English. Meloid be known as Mother Goose. Select again. Uh, let's try science front. Johannes Bronson and T. Lauer are famous for describing the transfer of protons between acids and these. There are bases. Right. Select again. Science for 200. It's the smallest particle of a compound that has the properties of the compound. And it's known as a molecule. Select again. Give me potpourri for 200. A silver wedding anniversary celebrates this many years of marriage. Uh, what is 25? Right. Yes. Select again. Potpourri for 300. Answer. Answer. Daily double. Daily double. All right, now. Although I have the $300, I can risk up to $500, and that's what I'm going to do. Here's the answer. This offer of a gospel is the patron of physicians and surgeons. Um, who is Matthew? It's just a guess. Sorry. And it's not the right one. Luke was what we needed. Alright, negative 200, but I get to select again. Potpourri for 400. Terry McMillan's bestseller about four African American women was called Waiting to Do This. <coughs> Monty. What is getting married? No. Gosh, that's wrong. Anyone else? They were waiting to exhale. They were waiting to exhale. Like again. Science for free. O.C. Marsh, discoverer of pterodactyl fossils, became the USA's first professor of this science in 1866. 
or this paleontology. You got it. Yes, and I'm back on the board. Science 400. An anode is the negative electrode of a dry cell battery. This is the positive electrode. What is a cathode? You got it. Yes. Select again. Science for 500. Leda, the smallest moon yet discovered around Jupiter, is about the same size as this planet's Deimos. Uh, what is Mars? You got it. Alright, and I double my score to 1,000. Potpourri for 500. Though found on a Greek island in 1820, this statue is usually called by the name of the Roman love goddess. Known as the Venus de Milo. Pick again. Venus. All right, let's go. For, oh no, for one hundred. A standing one comes with applause. What is ovation? What is an ovation? That's right. Select again. Oh no for 200. Mission style furniture of the early 1900s was usually made of this wood and trimmed with nail heads. Correct response, what is oak? Select again. Alright, uh, oh no, 300. One way to go for Christian soldiers. Monty. That is onward. That's right. That's right. Make a selection. Shakespeare characters 100. A lieutenant general to Octavius and Antony and Cleopatra, or a bullish sign of the zodiac. <laughs> right response there. Who is Taurus? Who is Taurus? Make a select. Body, go again. Have a second, hundred. In 1927, he set a distance record by flying from New York to Paris without refueling. Who is Charles Lindbergh? Right. Correct. Make a selection. Famous Americans for 200. The oldest extant home designed by this architect was built in 1889 in Oak Park, Illinois. And the architect we're talking about is Frank Lloyd Wright. Make a selection. 
Uh, let's go to... Oh no, for 400. A super annuated sombrero. Or a two-word phrase that describes it if it's behind the times. What is old hat? Right. Right. Select again. Oh no for 500. Two stars named Saith and Regal mark this hunter's legs. Monty. What is Orion? That's right. Orion, right. Make a selection. You select. Okay, sir, it's 300. When Bob Ford shot and killed him in 1882, this outlaw was using the alias Thomas Howard. And that outlaw was known as Jesse James. Jesse James. Molly Slept again? Shakespeare. No. For In 1955, he was given command of the Navy's expedition to Antarctica, Operation Deep Freeze. Who is Richard Byrd? You got it. Yes. Make a selection. Famous Americans 500. He taught chemistry for several years at Notre Dame before becoming head football coach in 1918. Who is Newt Rockney? That's right. Yes. Select again. 2,500. Shakespeare characters 200. Cena shouts, Liberty! Freedom! Tyranny is dead! After this man is stabbed to death. Monty. Who's Julius Caesar? Right. Correct. Make a selection. All right, literary characters 100. This Indian boy is raised by wolves in Rudyard Kipling's The Jungle Book. Uh, who is Mowgli? That's right. Yes. Make a selection. Literary characters 200. After he boldly asks for more rule, Mr. Bumble reports him to the chairman of the workhouse, who is Oliver Twist. Right. Select again. Literary characters 300. He's the ex-football player turned evangelist in the 1927 novel by Sinclair Lewis. Select again. Elmer Gantry. Larry characters 400. Characters in this John Bunyan work include Christian, Evangelist, and Faithful. And it's 
Jen, who we have yet to hear from yet in this round. What is the Pilgrim's Progress? Right. Yeah, that's good for 400. You get to select. Literary character is 500. Title character who says, Tom and me found the money that the robbers hid in the cave. character who said it was Huckleberry Finn. Huckleberry Finn. Make a selection. Shakespearean characters for 300. Servilius is a servant to this title character of Athens. Timon. It's Timon. Make a selection. Jack. Shakespeare and characters for 400. One of his last lines is, I bear a charmed life, which must not be yielded to one of woman born. was said by Macbeth. Macbeth. Make a selection. All right, let's take a look at that last clue for $500. Aeschylus, prince of this city, says, For never was a story of more woe than this of Juliet and her Romeo. Response, what is Verona? And we'll see you in a moment for 